hi and welcome to my channel my name is francisca and today's tutorial i want to show you how to make this beautiful reversible bomber jacket this is one of the most exciting tutorial that i have done i really really loved how it came out i made this a reversible bomber jacket such that i can wear it both ways i can wear both you know the outer fabric and the inner fabric and i like the color uh, combination that i used for this bomber jacket where one side looks more masculine because of the black color and where one side looks more feminine because of the you know the play of flowers on the ankara prints so the fact that this bomber jacket has a masculine and feminine look it means that myself and my husband are going to be you know sharing this bomber jacket because we are sort of like around the same size so we're definitely going to be sharing this bomber jacket of course i made it for myself but i made it a little bigger so that it can fit his um, broad shoulders i like the fact that i made the pocket types look um different if you're new to this channel you are welcome kindly click the subscribe button click the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and now let's dive into the sewing tutorial for this project so here is the pattern that we created for the bomber jacket i have a video on that it's actually the previous video before this one if you don't know how to create your pattern for bomber jacket please go ahead and watch that this tutorial right here is the sewing tutorial to give us this reversible bomber jacket finished look i've cut out my um pattern on fabric and this is the fabric that i'll be using for the outer part of this bomber jacket so here is the front piece i have my zipper here i've um attached welt pockets on the front piece i didn't want to um, do this part for this video because i already have like a very very detailed tutorial on how to do welt pockets so we're going to skip this one if you want to know how to do welt pockets i'm going to put it in the description box go ahead and watch that video you're going to see how i do my welt pockets so i did welt pockets on the front bodies right here is the two ankara pieces that i'm going to attach to the band i'm going to attach one to this side and i'm going to attach another one to this side both of them are cut on fold and you would see that for the other for the reverse side of the ankara piece i used another ankara fabric and that's because this is the pattern of the fabric i'll be using for the inner part of this bomber jacket here is the ribbon for the bomber jacket for the bottom of the bomber jacket i decided to cut the front and back together it is not divided i'm going to explain to you what i did here okay so it's going to run from the front all the way to my back pattern it is quite stretchy so right here is my back pattern as you can see this is my back pattern i cut it on fold here is the band that will go for the neckline okay to run from the back to the front right here is my sleeve pattern the second sleeve is underneath it and right here is the band that will go at the bottom of my sleeve for the inner part of the bomber jacket this is the fabric i'll be using of course the same band that we cut out for the other fabric you know that's what we're going to use for this one as well i've also cut out the pocket piece that's the patch pocket piece and this is what it looks like this is the ankara fabric that i'm using for it and then here is my back piece and of course i'm using ankara fabric for the sleeve so i'm just going to go ahead and explain any further changes that i've done to my pattern so this is what i wanted to explain for the ribbon part this is the entire ribbon that will go from back to front i want to explain how i you know cut it despite the fact that i cut my front and back patterns separately so this is what i did after i folded my fabric into two like this i folded it again into two remember that for the front part we have this small piece which i have cut in ankara fabric showing the two different types of Ankara that I'm going to use. Okay, so I have one on this side, I have another one on the other side. So what I did was to remove this piece, I kept it aside. I got the back pattern, the back is on fold, okay? So I placed it like this. Then I got the front um, ribbing pattern and then I made sure that the half an inch seam allowance for both back and front overlapped like this. What I did at this point was to remove about two and a half inches because I realized that this ribbon is very very stretchy as you can see i'm going to notch the midpoint of this ribbon so i'm going to notch it do the same thing for the other side notch it as well and then i'm going to place the midpoint of this fabric at the notched part i'm going to sew it straight down and then do the same thing for this other side place this sew it straight down you need to make sure that the Ankara's are facing the right side on both sides, okay? 
make sure they are um, alike on both sides. The other adjustment I made was to my wrist ribbon. I realized it was too big, so I didn't go for my eight inch wrist circumference as I mentioned. What I did was to remove about two inches from the band. You can remove up to one and a half, and then I went on to cut it. So this is what I'm going to use for the wrist um, cuff or the wrist band. After sewing the pieces together, this is what I have. I'm going to go on to keep this aside and we're going to work on the pocket piece for the inner fabric. So right here is the part that is going to the side seam here. Right here is the part that is going to the zipper allowance area. I cut out two pocket pieces for the left and two pocket pieces for the right. What I'm going to do is place them um, right sides to right sides stretching. And then I'm going to sew the top of the pocket. I'm going to sew where my hand is going to enter into the pocket. And then I'm going to sew the side seam parts. The only part that will be left open is the part that is going to the zipper allowance, which is these two sides, and then the part that is going to be joined to the band of the fabric, this band right here. So I will just go ahead and sew this part, sew this part, you know, sew the top here and the side by a half an inch seam allowance. After sewing the places that I mentioned that I was going to sew on the pocket, I turned it right side out and pressed it. Okay, so you can see that it's looking neat. And then what I did was to place it on this inner fabric. I placed it on the right side of the inner fabric, one inch away from the center front or from the zipper allowance area. My zipper allowance is one and a half inch, but I placed it one inch and then we're going to sew it down here by a quarter inch, okay? So I'm going to sew it right here, sew right here, and also attach the bottom part and this part as well. I'm going to make sure I sew very, very close to the edge so that it is as neat as possible. And this is where we are going to be inserting our hands for the pocket. So after sewing the pockets, the patch pockets on it, this is what I have. You can actually make your pockets you know, bigger than this if this is what, if that is what you want. So now that I've sewn the pockets, it is at the same level as the other fabric, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is to place the back piece on top of the front piece with right sides touching. So I've placed them on top of each other with right sides touching. I've pinned the shoulders down. We're going to sew the shoulders with a half an inch seam allowance here, half an inch seam allowance here. Then I'll go on to sew the side seam as well. My allowance is half an inch, so I'm going to sew by half an inch there and here. And I'll repeat the same thing for the outer fabric, which is this um, flowery Ankara fabric that you can see here. Sew the shoulder seams, then go on to sew the side seams by a half an inch seam allowance. So after sewing the shoulder seam and the side seam by a half an inch seam allowance for both my outer fabric, and this inner fabric that you can see here, I'm going to keep my inner fabric aside. And what I'm going to do next is to work on attaching the sleeves to the armhole of this outer fabric. So here is my sleeve. What I'm going to do next is to join the two sleeves by a half an inch seam allowance, ensure that I place the fabrics right sides to right sides touching. I sew by a half an inch seam allowance. Do the same thing for the other sleeve as well. Take it to my sewing machine and sew by a half an inch seam allowance. After sewing the side seam of my sleeve, I notched the center of the sleeve head, okay, and the back is also notched. The back of the sleeve is notched so that I place it correctly at the back side of the bodice. So what we are going to do is turn it right sides out like this, okay? And the next thing I'm going to do is to get my bodice. I've already attached one sleeve to the armhole of the bodice. So I'm going to explain how I did that with this. I turned the bodice wrong side out. Here are the shoulder seam, the side seam. I'm going to place my sleeve into my bodice. Ensure that the sleeve head where I notched matches with the shoulder seam. So around that point, I'm going to pin down. Then I also go ahead and pin the side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the bodice. So you want to make sure that the seam matches. So I'll go ahead and pin them down. And after pinning, I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew round by a half an inch seam allowance. So after attaching my sleeves, as you can see, I did the same for the inner fabric. So here's the inner fabric. I attached the sleeve as well for the inner fabric. But what I did for my sleeves was to leave about a six inch opening at the side seam five to six inches. This is what we're going to use to turn our bomber jackets right sides out by the time we're done with all the sewing. So I'm going to keep my inner fabric 
for my inner bomber jacket aside. And the next thing we're going to do is to attach the ribbon to the bottom of this bomber jacket. So here is my ribbon. I've attached the Ankara fabric to this part. So I'm going to place it in such a way that this Ankara part shows on this side. So remember that I have a 1.5 inch zipper allowance here. At this point, I don't need that much um, allowance. So I'm going to reduce my 1.5 inch zipper allowance to half an inch. Okay, I'm going to do it for both my inner fabric and my outer fabric. I don't know why I went with 1.5 inches. So after reducing my zipper allowance from 1.5 inches to half an inch, I'm going to spread the bottom of my bomber jacket open. I notched the midpoint of the back, that's the center back, as well as notched the midpoint of this ribbon that we are going to attach at the bottom, which is the center back. So what I'm going to do is ensure that this Ankara part is facing this part, and I'm going to pin it like this. Okay, so I'll pin it like this. So did you see? It aligns really well. I'll come to this side and do the same thing. Pin it like this. Okay, so you can see that my ribbon is smaller than the fabric. That is because it is quite stretchy. Then I'm going to pin the midpoint of the ribbon to this part right here. So what I'm going to do next is to stretch this part like this and I'm going to pin down. So I'm going to stretch and pin stretch and pin stretch and pin so if you do it this way it's going to be easy for you to sew on your sewing machine this um, ribbon that we are stretching is what is going to give the bomber jacket effect so i'm going to repeat the same thing that i've done here for this other half of the bottom of the jacket and what we're going to do is to take it to our sewing machine and sew up with a half an inch seam allowance. So after sewing the bottom, this is what it looks like. You can see that it is already bunched up on the ribbon. Okay, that's why the shape is looking like this. Next thing I'm going to do is to get my sleeve cuff. And what I'm going to do to this sleeve cuff is to open it up. Remember we cut it on fold. So I'm going to open it up like this, fold it like this, and sew by a half an inch seam allowance. Do the same thing for this one. After sewing the wrist cuff or the wristband, this is what it looks like. What we're going to do next is to turn it this way so that we have the folded edge at the bottom here. So can you see? I've already done it for this piece. Now what I'm going to do is to grab my sleeve. I turn my sleeve right sides out. What I'm going to do is to insert the sleeve into the cuff from the bottom here from the folded edge so i insert it like this and i make sure that the side seam of the sleeve matches the seam or the seam of the sleeve matches the seam of the cuff and what i'm going to do is to go ahead and pin those two sides down so after pinning this part down i'm going to stretch my ribbon like so and then pull my fabric like this such that they both sit on each other nicely or they rest on each other nicely so once I'm satisfied with what I have, I'll go ahead and pin this other end, which is sort of like opposite the seam that we just pinned. I stretch it one more time, find the midpoint between these two points, pin it right here. So we want to make sure that the ribbon is distributed equally around the Ankara fabric. So once I'm done with this one, I stretch this part, just eyeball the midpoint, and I'll go on to pin it down. Then I'll take this to my sewing machine and sew around by a half an inch seam allowance. And once I'm done sewing this, I'll repeat the same thing for the second sleeve. After sewing the wrist cuff, this is what it looks like. What we're going to do next is to try and fix the zipper. So because I'm making a reversible bomber jacket, I don't want the zipper to show on the inner side. So I want to sandwich it in between this um, Ankara fabric here, these two different Ankara fabrics that you can see here. Remember that initially I sewed everything together. So what I did was to loosen this area where the Ankara parts was stitched, and then I went ahead to stitch back only the matching Ankara to this Ankara piece here. I did the same thing for the other side as well. And what we're going to do right now is to get the other bomber jacket piece. I'm going to place this one like this. 
Then I'll grab this piece and place it on top of this with the right side touching. Do you understand? So I place this, this is the right side. I place the right side on the wrong side of this fabric. So can you see? So this is the wrong side of the fabric. I place it like this so that by the time we sew and pull this up, the right side will be showing, okay? So I place the right side of my inner fabric on the wrong side of my outer fabric. So I'll go ahead and pin the edge down. I want to pin this edge. So I'm going to pin the side seam of the inner fabric to match the side seam of the outer fabric here. Then I look for the notched part on the Ankara fabric, on this outer fabric, match it to the center back, which I have notched on the inner fabric like this. I pin that down as well. So I want to make sure that the band is also equally distributed on this inner fabric. I go ahead and do the same thing for the side seam here, match the side seam of the inner fabric to the side seam of the outer fabric. And then I'm going to pin match the edge of my fabric to the edge here, okay? And pin down as well. So I'm going to start sewing from where the band is. Do you understand? I'm not going to sew from the edge here. I'll start sewing from where the band is. You know, stretch my fabric as I sew along, just like I did for the outer fabric. Stretch my fabric as I sew along. You can go ahead and stretch and pin down in order to make sure that your um, band is distributed evenly around the inner fabric and I'm going to be sewing on the stitch Right here. Okay, I'll be sewing on this stitch that I have here on the Ankara fabric So everything is you know nice and neat and once I'm done sewing that part, I'll go on to stitch just the Ankara part of the band to my inner fabric like this stitch with a half an inch similar ones just like I did for this part do the same thing for the other side as well. Stitch with a half an inch similar ones for this part, just like I did right here. After sewing these parts together, this is what we have, okay? And this is what this part looks like. Like I said, I sewed the Ankara part of the band to the matching Ankara bomber jacket, okay? So this is what we have here so that we can easily attach our zipper. Now, before we go on to attach our zipper, we're going to repeat what we have done at the bottom here for the sleeve okay we want to attach the band to this inner bomber jacket sleeve in order for us to join the inner um, bomber jacket sleeve to the band we are going to have to wear this in this okay so you want to wear it in this so that you are making sure that your fabric is not twisted the bomber jacket is not twisted so i would advise that you wear it first before you go on to do any form of joining at the sleeve it will make your work so much easier, all right? And then once you wear it, you should have the right side of the outer fabric facing you, the right side of the inner fabric facing you. So the next thing we're going to do right now, after wearing the bomber jacket on each other with wrong sides to wrong sides touching, in order for us to properly sew the sleeve to the band, is to go on to bring this part out, okay? So I'm going to bring the entire sleeve to this side, so did you see that? I brought the entire sleeve to this side. And this is what we want to join, here to here. So what I need to look out for is the seam at the band. I'm going to pin, pin it like this. So please just watch what I'm doing. This is the seam of the inner bomber jacket sleeve. And right here is the seam of the band. So I'll just place it like this. And I'll go on to pin it down. This is very, very important. So. Once I pin this side seam part down, I'm going to open up the sleeve like so. So did you see that? And then I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew this part to the band all around by a half an inch seam allowance. So wearing it makes it much easier for you, okay? So go on to do yours like that. And whatever I do for this sleeve, I'll repeat the same thing for the other sleeve. So after sewing it around like this, we're going to push this sleeve into this one or the other way around so that we have the right sides out. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and push it out like this. 
and everything is going to look really really neat as you can see so it's looking very very neat like this so now that we are done with our sleeve what's left for us is to fix the zipper and the neckband but i'm going to start with the zipper first what we're going to do is to get our zipper now and i have this long zipper that is also reversible what i mean by reversible is that the zipper head can move both ways okay it can move both ways i'm going to turn this like so so remember i've reduced a zipper allowance to half an inch and then i'm going to place the zipper like this so can you see what i'm doing and we are going to take this to our sewing machine and sew the zipper all the way to the top. At this point, you can pin down both sides so that you can, you know, just sew everything at once. Making sure that the bottom of the zipper is at the middle of the two Ankara fabrics. So pin down both sides of the fabric to the zipper and then sew very, very close to the seat of the zipper, which is around a half an inch similar one. So I'll just go ahead and do this part now before we switch to the other side so after sandwiching the zipper on this part of the bomber jacket in between the two fabrics i'm going to bring it right sides out so that we can see the actual zipper okay so here is the actual zipper the next thing we are going to do is to fix this other side and i'm just going to bring it like so so can you see what i'm doing i bring it like this and sandwich so th this is super easy I'll sandwich take it to my sewing machine and sew just like I did for this um, first part you can go ahead and open up your zipper and sew it up okay so that it is easy for you so I'll just go ahead and stitch this now ensuring that the bottom of the zipper is right at the middle of the two Ankara fabrics that we have here I've sewn my um, zipper to the zipper allowance part as you can see here so I left the zipper open so it is clear for you guys to see what I did right here was to leave about a half an inch seam allowance at the top because we are going to be inserting the neck band and sewing it up so I'm going to open the entire zipper so that it is easy for us to fix our neck band the next I'm going to do is to place the center of the neck band at the center of the bomber jacket like this so here is my neck band I decided to reduce it by a half an inch seam allowance because I felt it was too wide, it was too big. So I reduced it by half an inch seam allowance and this is how I'm going to place it. So you want the folded edge to be inside, okay? So I'm going to pin the notch part of the band, like so, to the center back, okay? Then I'll pin the shoulder seam. So I need to make sure that the shoulder seam of the inner fabric matches the shoulder seam of the outer fabric. All right, so I'll go ahead and pin that down. Then I grab the end of this. I'll go ahead and pin this part down as well. So whatever I've done here for the half of the neckline, I'm going to repeat for this other side. And we're going to be sewing by a half an inch seam allowance from the center back. That's how I usually do mine. I start from the center back all the way to where I have the stitch, where the zipper allowance ends. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing for this other side. Attach the band with a pin. I pin it down and then I sew as well with a half an inch seam allowance from the center back all the way to where I have my zipper. So after sewing the neck band, this is what I have. What we're going to do next is to cut off the excess zipper. So I'm going to cut it off here. And I'm going to cut off the bulkiness that is around here so that it doesn't affect how my jacket will sit on my neckline. So I'll cut off the excess right here and at the other side as well. Cut this off and cut this off. So the next thing I'm going to do is to look for the sleeve where I have the opening, where I left the opening, and I'm going to pull my entire jacket through that point. So everything is going to come out through here. So 
this is what it looks like on the neckline you can see how neat it is here is our sleeve we are all done so what i'm going to do next is to is to find our opening that we used to turn everything out which is right here and i'm going to use a hand needle and thread to seal up the opening that we have here and we are done with our jacket so here is the final look of our bomber jacket here is the inner fabric which is the black and you know with the patch pockets and then here is the outer fabric which is looking more feminine with the uh, welt pockets so this is it guys this is how beautiful our jacket turned out to be please remember to give us a thumbs up for this tutorial subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video